Hi there, thanks for joining me. I'm MJ Ansels and today I have the pleasure of speaking with a local artist and author, Father Fred Monk, and he's going to share some of his stories with us today. Hi, Father. Hi, MJ. So how did you get into photography? You know, it started with an appointment with my doctor. He said, if you need a hobby. If you don't find a hobby, we're going to bury you very soon. Skydiving didn't appeal, you know? <laughs> so I thought photography would be something I was really interested in. I love art, I love to be outside. So I took up photography probably 10 years ago now. So for those that are interested in photography, do they have to be really good to get started? You know, I'll tell you a little story. I was out visiting one night, I took some photographs. This woman said, oh, what wonderful photograph. You must have an amazing camera. And I just said, thank you. At the end of the oh. meal, I said, that was a delicious meal. You must have lovely pots, okay? <laughs> it, you, need, you need skill. Uh, the, 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 the equipment is, does help, but uh, you need to develop an eye. I, I taught a class last year in high school and said to the kids, I want you to be able to show me what a gopher sees. Show me what an eagle sees. In other words, take a shot, take the same shot five times from the same place, but from a different angle. And uh, I don't, I, I, they produced images that blew me away. Great, so we all can be taught then. We can all be photographers, we all are photographers. Uh, some develop the skill a little further than others. I have a long way to go yet, but I really enjoyed you know, the opportunity to be able to express myself through my photography. So as you drive along the countryside, is that where you get your ideas then? Sometimes, or sometimes I purposely go out to look for something. Like recently I decided I wanted to do a book just on reflections in water. So I went out looking for little ponds and lakes and rivers and, and probably took 300 photographs this summer just of reflections in water. Phenomenal. So with your uh, being an author, how many books have you written? Well, I've, I've published now probably 10 or 12 books, I guess, of photography. Um, it's very easy for people to do these days. They can go online, download software from several different uh, uh, companies, uh, load their photographs, design them the way they want, upload them and have them at their door within a week to 10 days. So you can actually publish right online. Absolutely, and you only have to buy one book. You can buy one book, hardcover, softcover, then it stays with that company, and you can buy as many as you want over the years, or friends can go on, preview it, and order it themselves. So for those amateur photographers out there, what would you like to say to them? Just keep, keep looking, keep looking. Um, you know, every, every day, every scene is different. I can remember years ago, I took a shot of, of uh, Castle Mountain near Lake Louise. I've driven by there 150 times since. Never have I seen the same conditions, same weather, same lighting. So often you have to go back to the same place over and over again to get the shot you really want. So it's just perseverance. Unbelievable. And obviously close to nature is like close to, to God there. Absolutely. I think every image tells us something about the mystery of God and, and God's creation. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your photos with us today and Thanks all the best. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, MJ. Take care.